time is Satsu5 and this is my account update video and to get things started um, good news I don't have to wear a splint anymore uh, well I do have to wear it at night but I don't have to wear it during the daytime as you can see there was some scar tissue some scarring going around there and it's a little swollen but the doctor said I can start exercising it which pretty much means just bending it and um, since I can start exercising it now I can start making videos. I'm very excited about that. I've already filmed a couple of videos so far, and I'm going to upload them as soon as possible. I have some videos planned for the future, um, and I'll as soon as I get the resources, um, I'll get around to doing it. Uh, I have those videos up. I'm going to have a comparison video between the Sam Sam Three Cold Steel Kukri Machete, then the Sam Three um, Trailmaster, the SK5 Trailmaster and the Code Steel Kukri Machete. I'll have a tabletop comparing those and also a cut, have bamboo cut test with the SK5 Trailmaster and uh, Kukri Machete. Um, I just got finished watching Cutlery Level's video on um, Zippo and case knives and the Zippo uh, cutabout knife and I realized I had one. I haven't made a video on it yet because it's in very poor condition. I got it from my dad. Uh, it was his. It's pretty old. And it's well used. <laughs> Nevertheless, it's, you know, rusted and chipped and all that good stuff. So I thought I'd show it off. Um, I won't really have a review on it. But, because um, it's just a collect collector's knife. I don't really use this knife but I never thought about making a review on it but I'll start making reviews on my collectors knives uh, the ones I don't use because I'm either collecting them for sentimental value or I don't have a use for them and I do have knives I don't really have uses for uses for um, just mostly because I inherited them or something like that or they're just in bad condition and my slightly illegal knives, such as the switchblade. And I'll have a little bit of switchblade philosophy video um, later on. Um, I'm planning on having more pe self defense pebble spray videos. Um, well, self defense and a pebble spray videos, kind of separate. And um, I have a custom knife surprise video, if you will. Uh, I I've had a custom knife made for me. Since, since I've been out of com commission, haven't been able to make uh, YouTube videos. I've been searching the web looking at um, custom knife makers and I'm just looking at knives in general. And I found a custom knife maker that I liked a lot. And uh, um, I'm gonna, uh, and I had a knife made and it's being shipped to me right now. So as soon as I get that, I'll have a review on it. Um, not gonna tell you what it is. Keep up the, sus you know, suspense. Um, but anyways, I'm excited about that. I never had a custom knife made for me before. As uh, far as I know, I'm going to have the only one of this particular model um, in the U.S. Um, I think he made two of them. Um, one for him to, you know, kind of, you know, play around with, maybe sell later. And one that he specifically made for me based off of my specifications. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, by the way, I'm also going to have a video on my Zippo collection since I did bring up my Zippo knife. knife. Um, one more thing. Oh, yeah. I told someone that I was going to tell the story on YouTube. I might have mentioned it in a past video, but I uh, have not um, mentioned it um, in... Um, I mean, I, I can't remember if I mentioned it in a past video, but I have mentioned it in a recent comment. And I said I'll tell the story. It's not a, it's not a real interesting story, but I'll tell it. By the way, I'm kind of being sidetracked, but the logo on this knife is, um, this is my Zippo cutabout knife, is Doral, or Doral. I can't pronounce my Orals, Orals I'm sorry. It says Doro Across America is a cigarette company. It's a well used knife, no tip, chipped blade, and rust, and 
pretty sorry locking setup. But like I said, it's well used. I'm just collecting it. I almost forgot to add that. Anyways, back to the story. As you, as you may or not know, may or may have may getting tongue twisted. May have or may have not known. I love animals. Um, I love wildlife. I love hunting. I love fishing. As far as animals go with me, they're fun to pet, better to chew. <laughs> uh, that's my philosophy. But um, I have this kind of fascination with tigers. It's by far my favorite animal. Um, I don't walk around with tiger print, you know, clothes or anything like that. But if people ask me for my favorite animal, I say tiger. Um, and for a very significant reason I like the tiger is because when I was younger, uh, my dad had this friend that was that is pretty well off, had a good bit of money. He came across a man selling a tiger and he bought it. It's a little tiger kitten or cub, I don't know what you would call it, but um, it's about the size of a small dog, like medium sized dog, a little bit bigger than a Jack Russell Terrier. Um, this Imagine a little bit bigger than that, and it was defanged and declawed. And um, we went over to the guy's house. The guy wasn't there, but um, his uh, like groundskeeper or house sitter was there. Someone was there that um, had access to everything that kind of took care of the place. I can't remember who it was because I was pretty young. I was about in first or second grade. Anyways, we were looking at my dad thought it'd be a good idea to show show me the tiger. He thought it'd be a good bonding experience between me and my brother and him. He thought we would enjoy it, which I did. And the guy had a keys to the cage, and he opened it, closed it, and he started petting the tiger and stuff. And he said, "Hey, y'all want to pet it?" And of course, I was like, "Heck yeah!" <laughs> so, um, I went into the cage and I started petting this exotic cat and as many of you may know who own cats you know you start petting them you rub their belly they'll they'll kind of grab you and bite you and kind of scratch you not really trying to you know hurt you but that's just kind of how some cats play well this one did that it bit me right on you know my arm and of course I freaked out and I screamed and yelled and the guy slapped it and it let go and um, it didn't cause any real damage, but scaled me. But ever since then, I kind of had a fascination with tigers. That story is completely irrelevant for, uh, as far as my update video goes. But I told someone I would tell the story. And um, as far as animals go, you know, even slightly dangerous animals, I'm kind of drawn to them. And um, by the way, I hear the most dangerous animal in Texas is actually the uh, white-tailed deal because uh, people don't give them the respect they deserve. Uh, a lot of animals are dangerous because we don't respect them. You know, you think, oh, that animal is not that bad. It's not that dangerous. Uh, oh, that snake isn't that bad, dangerous. I'll just pick it up. I know what I'm doing. And you get bit because you just get too comfortable with it. You gotta, you know, give the respect that dissolves. Anyways, I think I covered everything. Um, make sure I don't have anything else up to show you. Um, so, I think that's it. I'm very excited about um, uploading my future videos. Um, and that's about it. Gotta exercise that finger. Um, make sure I don't stiffen up on me. Or any more than it already is. And I'm Hisatsu5 with my account update video, and um, feels good to be back, and I'm out.